installation of the steel girders for the flyover ramp represents a significant milestone for the $25.6 million State Road 85-123 construction project. Use of steel girders is somewhat unique in northwest Florida. Most bridge projects in the region use precast concrete beams, but steel is being used here to conserve space and create a more aesthetically pleasing structure. Project Administrator Mike Linga says lifting the 573,000-pound girders into place requires communication and precision on the part of the construction contractor. They'll do is they'll bring these girders in in pairs, already bolted up. Uh, they'll pull into underneath the bridge section. The crane will lower a lifting bracket or apparatus down. We have clamps that pick up to the girders, and they'll actually raise them up in relative alignment to their final position. We'll spin them and we'll set them down on their bearing pads and bolt them up. The girders were installed during overnight hours to minimize traffic impacts and maximize safety. The completed flyover ramp will seamlessly connect State Road 85 northbound traffic to State Road 123, a measure that will improve traffic flow, particularly during the afternoon rush between Fort Walton Beach and the northern Okaloosa County suburb of Crestview. Other portions of the project are also progressing. Further north on State Road 85, a segment of the travel lanes has been elevated to produce a grade-separated entrance for the busy Northwest Florida Regional Airport. The improved entrance will help reduce congestion, enhance safety, and improve mobility for Okaloosa County commuters. State Roads 85 and 123 remain an active construction zone. Drivers are reminded to exercise caution and obey the lower posted speed limit in the work zone. Completion of the project is slated for later in 2012. For more information, visit the project website. You may also follow the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 on Twitter.